what's going on guys Evans Overland here as you can see got the new stickers on the YouTube stickers finally um, but I have a big surprise for you guys got I cut this off of a uh, sorry about the writing on my hand it's from work um, I cut this off of another sticker I'll show you in a minute um, there's the big one on the back window but I have a huge surprise for you guys. Um, I don't have it yet, but it will be here. Well, I, I shouldn't say it, I should say they will be here um, Friday afternoon. I don't know, I messed that one up a little bit. Anyway, so that's why I cut off the back side of that other sticker. Um, and as you can see, something went wrong when I was laying it. I, I just said screw it and kept going, because I really don't care. Um, you, you can tell what it says, so that's all that matters. But what I am going to tell you is these wheels are for sale. That's all I'm going to tell you. Probably not, I'll tell you more. I bought new wheels. They're 17 by 9, uh, 5 by 5, uh, and they're offset. They're really offset, and they already have tires on them. They have 265 70 17s. It's a little bit smaller than what I have now, but that gives me the option to upgrade to 33s after I go with um, new arms, new adjustable arms. So that's fine. Um, and ignore the salt all over the back of the Jeep because I gotta wipe that off. It's the, the salt here from the snow and everything. There's still snow on the ground as you can see. You guys ever see a melted pumpkin? Ain't that some shit? Anyway. Um, but yeah, so I got the new stickers on. Um, now when people are tailgating me, you know, if they're sitting in traffic, they can look up my YouTube real quick. And, uh, I had the Instagram logo right here, um, with my old Instagram, but I got rid of that. Um, and I scraped it with a razor blade. I scratched the window right here, unfortunately. Put in, uh, like a... a kind of a bad scratch can't really see it but it'll be fine it's a it's a beater it's a beater with a heater anyway um yeah so got new wheels they'll be on the jeep friday night um like i said these wheels are for sale they're in excellent condition and they have 255 75 17 wrangler goodyear sras on them um they have like half tread they're in decent shape i'm only asking 400 bucks for them um, that'll recoup me the money for my new wheels plus some. Um, and you know how the Jeep is still pinstriped on the trails. You can't tell on camera, thank God. So it'll look alright when we're on the trails. Um, and there's a bumper trim coming. So what I'm going to do is right there, right there on top of the hitch, I'm going to cut all the way across. And basically make it look identical to the front because it this thing doesn't look lifted with that rear bumper now it is going to have the saggy diaper for those wj guys that know um but we'll figure that out later i'm not really worried about that for now i might build a uh eighth inch metal skid um to go underneath the fuel tank skid that's already there um to kind of if i'm gonna have to see it i might as well make it look good so um, that's pretty much it. I just want to show you guys the stickers and uh, tell you about the wheels. Um, they are XD series wheels. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the brand is. Um, if there's a, a, a brand that has the XD series or if XD series is the brand. I don't know. But they're dirt cheap and they have good 265-7017s on them. They're uh, mud terrains, I believe. So, you know. Um, for anybody going to Jeep Week, it will be down there. What? Um, but like I said, these wheels are in excellent condition. So, um, the headlights, I actually cleaned them with Windex, and they look good for about a day until I drove it to work two or three times, and now it's just covered in everything. They're, they're all junky again. I'm going to have to wet sand them and try to clean them up. Um, I'm afraid to because I don't want to mess them up, but I'm going to try. And if I do, I'll have to buy new lenses, so it is what it is. Sorry about all the background noise, by the way. Um, 
the grill's getting painted black. This cover is getting painted black. Um, we're still working on the winch bumper. We're, we're trying to make progress on that. Um, I do have concerns with the hood starting to uh, starting to rust. There's a spot right here. I might sand it. Oh, sorry. I might sand it and uh, try to clean it up a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to rust a little bit. Get a good shot of that. Come on, focus. Eh, good enough. Anyway, um, I was going to paint the hood, but I'm probably just going to leave it. Because um, it's going to get covered in, most likely, it's get, most likely going to get covered in stickers. Not sticker bomb, but um, there's going to be one sticker here. Goes from that body line to this body line. Um, there might be one that goes up the middle. Up that way, I'm not sure yet. Um, going to have a windshield banner. Should be getting a roof basket Friday as well. Um, I might be getting short arms Friday. There's a lot I can get Friday, um, but it's going to require a lot of driving. A lot, a lot, a lot of driving. Um, the wheels are very local. I'm not worried about that. Um, and they are on reserve for me, so nobody else can take them. Um, the short arms are two hours south. Um, a buddy of mine has limb risers for me for free. They're an hour north. Um, and then, you know, whatever else. I, I can't even think right now. Oh, the roof basket is like 30 minutes from me. Um, west or, you know, whatever. So, why is this thing like going stupid like this? Sorry about the lighting, folks. Or the focusing issue. What the hell's going on? Hello? That's weird. It never does that. I don't know. Anyway, why is it like this? There we go. Got it to focus. Yes, autofocus. Thank you. Okay. Anyway, I was about to say, it should not be that blurry. But that's going to be it for this video. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I just wanted to put out some kind of video for now to, you know, let you guys know about updates or whatever. So, alright. That's going to be it for this one. I'll see you guys later.